that.
At Fillmore East and in all You've been hearing me talk about the Miravita metamorphosis. Get the skinny on how to live a happier, healthier life with me and Dr. D as she shares a revolutionary weight loss approach. Solve your weight problem for good. Get the skinny at Miravita.com. M-I-R-A-V-I-T-A.com. Keep listening to iHeartRadio for more from 1971. Coming up. If it feels like it's hot enough to fry an egg on a sidewalk, it probably is. When it's 86 degrees outside, asphalt can reach a sizzling 135 degrees. Hot enough to cook an egg and your dog's feet. Be safe. Test the sidewalk with your hand. Avoid midday walks and walk in the grass. Bring along water and rest in the shade at the first signs of heat exhaustion, including heavy panting and stumbling. Go to PETA.org for help and information on how to keep your dog safe in hot weather. From the Renters Warehouse Studio, this is News Talk 550 KFYI Phoenix, KYOT HD2 Phoenix. Available everywhere you want to listen on our free iHeartRadio app. Download it now. Is the VA getting any better? Good morning from the Camp Y Newsroom. I'm Rob Hunter. A Vets Town Hall held by Camp Y's Mike Broomhead and Senator John McCain yesterday sees a smaller audience than last time, but... 
Gain says that's a good thing. My assessment is that the VA has made some progress. I also think, in all candor, that we've got a long way to go. McCain addressed about 100 people at the Burton Bar Library in downtown Phoenix, sponsored by KFYI's Mike Broomhead. State Representative Sonny Morelli has had his own run-ins trying to get care from the VA, including being told he doesn't qualify for a choice card because he lives close to an outpatient clinic, even though it doesn't have the services he needs. It just seems that the bureaucracy is just protecting the bureaucracy. McCain says the choice card has to be easier to get, and he's disgusted that only one person in the Phoenix VA scandal has been fired. Ted Houston, 550 KFYI News. Broomhead will be talking about this on his show coming up next year on News Talk 550 KFYI. An Avondale man has been indicted by a federal grand jury for providing material support to ISIS. The Department of Justice says Ahmed Mohammed El Gamal, owns Jammy, actively promoted to support ISIS on social media. The agency said earlier this year, Gamal eventually met a New York college student, helped that student get to Syria to get terrorist training from ISIS. In national news, the husband of the woman who survived the deadly shooting that killed the TV reporter and cameraman on Wednesday says he's lucky his wife's alive. If it had been just a couple of millimeters or centimeters to the left, it would have severed her spine. And a couple of millimeters to the left of that, it would have severed her aorta. So she was lucky the way she got shot. It's Tim Gardner. Says his wife, Vicky's recovering in the hospital, expected to be released from the ICU in the next couple of days. Gardner tells Fox News that his wife lost the kidney part of her colon as well. The doctor says she's going to recover. It's going to take about three months for her to feel completely better, though. Reporter Allison Parker and cameraman Adam Ward were killed in the shooting on live TV Wednesday by a former reporter at the station. When asked about the gun debate that was sparked by the shootings, Gardner said he didn't blame guns. He blames the man behind the gun. The vigil was held last night for Parker Ward outside WDBJ-TV. President Obama using a webcast today to try to ease concerns from Jewish communities about the nuclear agreement with Iran. Obama's going to deliver remarks about the agreement, take questions from the audience. The webcast being organized by two major Jewish organizations that have held similar events with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Energy Secretary Ernest Moines. California going above and beyond cutting back their water usage during their drought. State Water Resources Control Board says California cities cut water use by 31 percent in July. The governor wanted the state to cut it by 25 percent, so should be happy. In July, 27 percent. World stock market's been uneven so far today. Global rally driven by upbeat U.S. economic data happened in Asia. The Shanghai Composite Index that caused a lot of this concern. They grew today by 4.5 percent. Nikkei Index in Japan also was up, but the rally faded in Europe, France, Germany, Britain. Stock markets there lower in early trading. U.S. stock market futures down. From there, to a look at your money, sponsored by the Green Capital Management. Markets open in 27 minutes. Dow futures off 105. NASDAQ futures off 26. S&P 500 futures looking down 12 right now. See what happens when the markets open. 550 KPY News Time 603. We got your traffic, your weather, and the Mike Broomhead Show start for you next. Arizona Men's Clinic. This is hey, this is Mike Broomhead, and I want you to know Keiko Roofing is the best in the valley. They've been here since 1994. As a matter of fact, they have done tens of thousands of roofs in Arizona, both commercial and residential. All styles of roofs, tile, shake, flat, foam, and much more. The storm damage in Arizona can be very severe during the monsoon season. If you're new to Arizona, you're going to find this out. If your roof is not in shape, you better get it in shape, or you're going to have severe damage inside your home or inside your business. They are offering all of the people in the valley a free roof inspection. Take advantage of this. If it really is good, in good condition, they will say so. But if you need a new roof, they have financing options in-house that make it not only easy, but affordable as well. You can't afford to not take advantage of this free roof inspection. Call Keiko and schedule it right now. 602-944-4600. That's 602-944-4600. Or go to their website, crazyaboutquality.com. Take advantage of the best. It's Keiko Roof. Now sponsored by Soto Belly, Hormonal Therapy. Take a look for us. Jason Christopher, Mark Jeffrey. Shout out East. Jason, what's going on out there? You know, freeway's not looking all that bad right now, Rob. The Westbound 10 slightly busy around Broadway. The one went north. Now you're going to see some traffic hitting the 60. A couple of ranks in Scottsdale right now. You're going to find them uh, right now. Granite Reef and McDonald and 90th Street of Via Linda. Mark Jeffrey has your west side. Yeah, Jason, Eastbound 10, a little thick. That's Eastbound 75th Ave from off and on to the tunnel. Uh, not terrible, though. 17 with a 51 southbound to downtown looking pretty good. Camelback and Litchfield. We got an accident in the clearing stages. Next, Port 615, March every 550 KFYI. Okay.
Taking over-the-counter or prescription drugs unnecessarily is a drag, whereas feeling great like you used to is the way you want to be. Learn how to feel, function, and perform to your full health potential. Tune into the Dr. Bob Martin Show Saturday mornings at 8 at mayoclinic.org. Today, weather forecast, we get it from Fox 10's Corey McCloskey. We're off and running into a big warm weekend, 109 degrees this afternoon under the sunshine. Tonight, fair skies and 88. Tomorrow, same story as sunny 109. Sunday, sunshine and 106. 82 right now in Phoenix. My name is Rob Hunter. Our next local report coming up at 627. It's the KFYI Download. We do the news with Mike Broomhead. The news on the hour, the half, and when it breaks. Depend on 550 KFYI and KFYI.com. Sold out 2015 iHeartRadio Music Festival. Live in Las Vegas. September 18th and 19th. Baby. The biggest names in music. Right, are you ready? Want to go? Text this word right now. All right, the word this morning is strip. I don't suggest you do it, but the word is strip. Text that word. You got a bunch of time this hour. You can win a trip to the iHeartRadio Music Festival. The word, once again, is strip. That word right now to 45495 to sign up for our iHeartRadio Music Festival contest. Receive a confirmation text and get texts about iHeartRadio. Standard data and message rates apply. 550 KFYI, the Mike Broomhead Show. An Arizona man is indicted for his connection with the Islamic State. And Rob Hunter shares some stories about Hurricane Katrina. Welcome to the Mike Broomhead Show. I got a message. I got a song. Can I get a witness? Tell me what's going on. Hey, we made it. We made it. We made it. It's Friday morning. Happy Friday. Hope you're on your way to work. Hope you're going to have a good day. Headed toward the weekend. A lot coming up on the show. Going to catch you up on the uh, the town hall meeting yesterday with Senator John McCain. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to all the veterans who were there in attendance. It was a it was a good turnout. We had a great conversation about the VA, the good, the bad, what needs to be improved, and there was some good, which was very nice to hear some people say some encouraging things. Great stories from veterans that were there, uh, and I want to thank the local and national media who showed up. They uh, did a good story in uh, AZ Central today. It was very kind of them um, to cover it like they did and cover Senator McCain in his office and what was being done for the veterans, what's not being done, what still needs to be fixed. Uh, so we'll get you an update on what we talked about, what we, had, we discussed with the senator, what the plan is moving forward. It wasn't just a session to just complain. There's a reason for the complaints and some of the significant stories and what's being done about them. We'll do that a little bit later on this morning. A search of Esther Flanagan's rental car showed he could have been planning a shooting spree. Police found six magazines in the uh, 9 millimeter magazine, uh, 17 stamp letters, three license plates, a to-do list, a wig. They also found an iPhone with a text sent to a friend after the shooting that he had done something dumb. So that could have been a lot worse if they hadn't located him. You know, if that, if that TV camera hadn't hit the ground the way it did or shown his face, would have didn't know who that was, had he had some anonymity for a few hours, this could have ended with a lot more loss of life. Yeah, that story was actually interesting, too, where they were talking to the news director, and he was watching the video, and people were like, slow it down, stop it here, slow it down. He did not recognize Vester, but everyone else in the newsroom said, no doubt in their minds, they knew it was him. That's crazy. So anyway, the, this, uh, just some of the new details that are coming in as this investigation moves forward. So uh, Vester Flan Flanagan uh, may have been planning. That's a lot of rounds of ammunition. I believe each one of the, each one of the magazines holds 18 rounds. He had six, mag six loaded magazines plus the one that was in the handgun he had. Well, that was it. Yeah. At this point, you know, at, once yeah, by that, the Right. Um, today is the final day of Cardinal training camp. It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's get the season on with Mike Broomman. On Sunday, they play the Raiders in... Yeah, the, the final two preseason games are on the road. And then um, they'll start their normal regular season practice schedule. So not open to the public. Uh -huh. Basically, training camp is over. Players get to go and sleep in their own beds. They don't have to stay at the hotel. 
but it's pretty much going to be business as usual as the Cardinals prepare prepare for the regular season. And what's uh, what? This is when players will find out their fate as well. The final cuts are made, and uh, yeah, who makes a team, who doesn't? We'll see a series of cuts, I believe, next week to get down to seventy-five, to ninety to seventy-five, and then after the final preseason game, seventy-five to fifty-three. Then the practice squads are filled, and I think those are six. So fifty-nine of the ninety guys will be employed by the Arizona Cardinals. Mm. That's uh, that's tough. Yeah, that's tough. That's tough. I asked um, I I talked with Michael Bidwell recently, and I asked him about that. What's that like? You know, you develop. He goes, you know, a lot of times I know who's not going to be around. And so do they, though. Some do. Yeah, there's but a there's lot. there are some bubble guys. You know, there are some bubble players, and he said there are times you feel. Re, you know, when you when you like somebody, you see how the effort they're putting in. But there, sit sometimes it's situational. I would guess. You know, we have more of this than we need. They may get on with another team, but they just aren't. It's just not going to make it with us. I can't see a situation right now, and this is for me. I don't make the decisions inside this organization, but I can't see right now the Arizona Cardinals holding on to Chris Johnson. Okay. I just can't see it. If you look at the depth at that position with Ellington, the rookie David Johnson. And Mar Marion Grice, who's played well. Curran Williams, who played well at the end of the season. Stephon Taylor, who's played well. I mean, that's five running backs right there. And to hold on to a sixth running back, a guy who has practiced twice before hurting his hamstring and is going to be out another week, I don't see him making the team. I, just, huh? I don't see it. I didn't think Jermaine Gresham was going to make the team either until uh, the, uh, they had a tight end injury this week. And that's odd how careers can hinge on an injury to someone else or an sure. injury to yourself. You get injured, you may be out just because you can't play. Um, so the Cardinals are ending training camp. 71 refugees, most likely fleeing Syria, died of suffocation inside an abandoned truck on an Austrian highway. What a... Ooh. They found uh, Syrian travel paperwork inside, so that's why they're speculating they're from Syria. Right. That, that's, that's a lot of people in the back of a truck. And if you think, that, is this human trafficking? The fact where something happens and they just abandon the truck... So it's not like they were trying to save these people. This was, they were trying to probably make a buck. Yeah. And when it wasn't working out, if the truck broke down or whatever the case may be, we'll, we're we'll, out of we'll learn. Yeah. They just leave. We're gone. Yeah. Um, and a disturbing story. This may change my opinion. I have been a pilot, and I, we, this is not a confirmed story, but a former employee is saying that the Subway Corporation had been warned about Jared Fogle in 2008. Yeah, a franchisee said that she was having conversations where Fogel would talk just inappropriate stuff. No, he's, we all know what Jared Fogel was into. And she went to the head of marketing or uh, the someone who, would, who ran the trust for marketing for Subway, and he wanted nothing to do with it. He didn't want to hear her. We were off, said, I don't, want to, I don't want to know any of this. Right. And so they, they swept it under the rug, so to speak, or didn't even investigate it. I don't, to me, that seems so irresponsible. Was it just that the Jared campaign was going so well for Subway? You compare that to the rumor mill, and so they said, we don't want to hear rumors, especially because it's going so well. Now, what's interesting is you said that it's going to change your opinion. What would you, how would this change your opinion? If they did know that he was up to criminal activity in 2008, but the country didn't know, so they kept their association with him because they could keep the facade of his image going so that they could sell more sandwiches. That changes my mind about Subway and their involvement with Jared Fogle. If we had an association at KFYI with a personality, and um, I'm trying to think of a, of a way to, um, I'm trying to think of a good analogy. That if, you know, when a company uses someone as a spokesperson and what they're doing doesn't sit with what they do, so, but the campaign's working. I'm not trying to say anything, but like Beth does her live hits with Channel 10 every single morning. Correct. And if they knew something bad about Beth and continued to do those things, and then it came out, you would go, well, why didn't Channel 10 do anything about this? They knew the whole time. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, well, yes, because it, after it happened with Jared Fogle, they said, we want nothing to do with the guy. We have no more relationship with him. This is final. Like, oh my gosh, he was involved in that? We want nothing to do with that. We wanted nothing to do with the fact when it was exposed. But if you knew it was going on, but it had been exposed, you seemed to be okay with it. And this franchisee may be telling the truth, and this one executive could have said, I don't want to know anything right. about it, and not told anyone else. I agree. But if, if there's more details to come, and a story like this doesn't just sit there, 
this story's going to grow. They're going to start asking people in Subway, who knew what, when did they know Just like it? Penn State. Right. Remember when the Penn State thing broke? Absolutely. Joe Pa knows nothing. Month later, Joe Pa knew everything. Right. Yeah. So anyway, that, that would change my opinion. If the, if the higher-ups at Subway, the decision-makers at Subway, decided not to pursue, um, at least ask questions about what was going on, because they didn't want to rock the rock the boat with their great endorsement guy with their campaign, then then I then I want to hear it. I don't feel bad for Subway and their association with Jared and how it makes them look bad. It doesn't bother me. So, all right. In a moment, uh, what what we'll talk about? Arizona man yesterday, an Avondale man indicted for helping ISIS, helping the Islamic State. We'll get to details on that story coming up here in a moment. Traffic. Hey, it's Mike Broomhead. Republic Monetary Exchange is going to be right here at the KFYI Studios. Tuesday, September 15th at 10 a.m., they will be hosting a free gold investment seminar. It's right after my show, so as soon as I'm off the air, I'm going to head downstairs to the seminar, and I hope to meet you there. I want to introduce myself to you and you to the great people from Republic Monetary Exchange. The experts will be on hand to explain this important option to you, explain everything you need to know about investing in gold. As a matter of fact, they're going to explain how to open a gold IRA account. It's all free. You're free to ask all the questions you want. There'll be some refreshments there. You have an opportunity to win an investment-grade coin. But most of all, the great information about this all-important investment. Find out why not all gold is the same. It's not one-size-fits-all. Do yourself a favor. Go online. Reserve your free seats right now. RMEgold.com slash seminars or 602-955-6500. That's 602-955-6500. If you're talking about it, we're talking about it. News Talk 550 KFYI, the Valley's talk station. On air, 550 KFYI. And online, KFYI.com. News Talk 550 KFYI. News Talk 550 KFYI. KFYI.com. In the morning, um, it is east side, west side traffic. Jason, Christopher, Mark, Jeffrey, good morning, guys. Hey, good morning, Mike. Well, it sounds like we might have a right here on the Sandham Freeway, 22 westbound, right near I-10, the uh, the transition ramp. So we're trying to get a word from DPS on this to find out what's going on. But it sounds like westbound, 22 right near I-10, the Sandham Freeway. Also going to find the wrecks out of Scottsdale, Granite Reef, and McDonald, and along with 90th Street of Via Linda. Mark, Jeffrey has your west side. Hey, yeah, Jason, 10 eastbound, 67th Ave, have a collision. It's off left, so it's mostly a curiosity problem, but there it is. Uh, 101 looks pretty good, eastbound, 67th Ave, is a 51. On southbound problem free. We check the 17 uh, heading path, uh, past Anthem, past North Stack, all good all the way down to the stack. And as you get around the Durango curve, it's a little thickish. See a problem? Call the Scottsdale Gold and Silver Traffic Tip Line 602 374 6300. Next port 631. Mark Jeffrey 550 KFYI. This report is brought. I talk over and over again about how much I love the people at Briggs Family Dentistry, a father and son team. It is Roger Briggs who's been practicing dentistry in Arizona for over 40 years. His son Brad, together, they have been named Best of the Valley 11 times. They are a great practice. I talk about the state of the art equipment that they have. One thing I found out recently is that not all dentists do an oral cancer screening as part of your exam. Not only do they do that at Briggs Family Dentistry, they have a special tool, a special light that can see things that the naked eye can't, which means earlier detection. If there's any kind of an anomaly, they're going to find it. We know that when it comes to cancer screening, early detection matters more than anything else. If you're a new patient, they offer you $100 off any procedure they offer just by saying you heard it on KFYI. Either way, make your appointment. BriggsFamilyDentistry.com is the website or call 480-359-5879. 480-359-5879. Seven, nine. Whitfield Nurseries tree sale is going on now. Huge 24-inch box trees for $1.99. Planted and guaranteed. Choose from thornless mesquite, desert willow, acacia, oak, ash, elms, and more. Save on citrus and fruit trees. Big five to six-year-old with fruit. Cash and carry for $79.95. The Whitfield Nursery tree sale at all three locations. 2647 East Southern, 824 East Glendale, and Cooper, which is Stapley and Guadalupe. Listen to Brian Whitfield Saturdays, 7 until 8 on KFYI. Hey, y'all, Rosie here. You got critters? Don't be scared. Call my friends at Blue Sky Pest Control. Ants, scorpions, cockroaches, black widows, crickets, rats, spiders. Forget about it. Every technician at Blue Sky Pest Control has had a thorough background check and drug tested and has passed a rigorous training program. Trust them and know all their services are fully guaranteed. Give Blue Sky Pest Control a call today. 480-635-8492. Better service, better technicians, and guaranteed work. That's Blue Sky Pest Control. Every single Thursday, you've got something to do. 
Jay Levine auctions and appraisals at the auction house here in Scottsdale, southeast corner of Scottsdale and Shea, and they've got an auction, a live auction, every Thursday at 11 a.m. Doors open at 9 a.m., and then there's previews all day on Wednesday. Now, what's great is you can find all sorts of things, couture, fashion, fine art, curio, state jewelry, antiques, western Americana, memorabilia, firearms, whatever it is, rare, unique, you name it, you can find it. Jay Levine auctions and appraisals. Again, live auctions every Thursday, 11 a.m., at the auction house on the southeast corner of Scottsdale and Shea. Now, if you're downside, you've got thousands where you otherwise are going to give it away or donate it or even crash it. Find out more at jlevines.com. It's jlevines.com. Place to go for Jay Levine auctions and appraisals. When you get in this morning, stay connected to the Valley's talk station on your desktop or laptop. Click the listen live button at kfyi.com. kfyi.com. How's it going? I'm having a stroke. Are you going to shake my hand? I'm having a stroke. Wow, you're not even moving your arm. I'm having a stroke. When someone is having a stroke, they may not be able to say it with words, but their body language will tell you loud and clear. Look for FAST. F, face drooping. A, arm weakness. S, speech difficulty. T, time to call 911 immediately. Know the sudden signs. Spot a stroke fast. Visit strokeassociation.org. Brought to you by the American Stroke Association and the Ad Council. Hi, Chris Merrill. Join me and news at the top and bottom of every hour. Traffic four times an hour on your drive home here on News Talk 550 KFYI. All right, thanks for being here. So the story came down yesterday afternoon that an Arizona man, a guy in, in Avondale, he helped a New York college student join the Islamic State in Syria, where the student underwent religious and military training. Ahmed Mohammed Gamal, also known as Jamie Gamal, apparently when he converted, he must have converted to Islam and took a and, and took the name Ahmed Mohammed El Gamal. He was indicted in Manhattan Federal Court, and he's being prosecuted there because that's where the crime was committed. Uh, he was arrested Monday in Avondale. And this criminal complaint was unsealed on Wednesday. A bail hearing was scheduled for today in the Phoenix Federal Courthouse. Which, just as a side note, is the most ridiculous building that's ever been built in the state of Arizona. You know what I'm talking about? The most ridiculous? Yes. Name a building you can think of in this state that's more ridiculous than that federal courthouse. Hmm. I mean, really. It's 120 degrees in the summer, and it's completely made of glass. And they didn't put anything in to shade the windows when they first built it. it they were probably spending $100,000 a month trying to cool that building. You have a clear glass building in downtown Phoenix, Arizona. It's like, it's like sitting in your car with the motor shut off. It's pretty. Pretty stupid. Isn't Steven Seagal's house all glass, too? In Levine? I don't know. I've heard those rumors. I've never been there. Well, because you kick your butt. What if I had... You're trying to look through his glass house? Yeah. Go ahead. Try to throw a stone. <laughs> That's why he's never said anything about the Phoenix Courthouse. <laughs> yeah. Because people in glass. A message left to the lawyer representing Gamal was not immediately returned. This is from an AZ Central story. An AP story in AZ Central. Uh, in the complaint... An agent described how the 24-year-old student at a Manhattan school began communicating in August with a 42-year-old guy, this Kamal guy. He helped arrange him to meet a contact in Turkey in January. That contact then helped the student get to Syria. The student, identified in court papers as CC1, was described in the complaint as a U.S. citizen who lived in Queens and whose parents live in Orange County, New York. This is another, here's a quote. There's another example of how social media is utilized for nefarious and criminal purposes around the world. So the New York Police Department Commissioner, William Bratton, said the investigation demonstrates how easily people can support a terrorist organization without ever meeting. From the anonymity of their own computer, hidden behind obscure social media accounts, and, and the veil of the internet. So interesting how this guy is part of a conspiracy. Now, I know I don't want to start throwing fuel on the fire, but um, I wonder how it is 
I wonder if this guy attended that Phoenix mosque. The same one where the two guys were from that went to Texas for that terrorist attack. Now, I'm not trying to cast everybody that attends that mosque, un, you know, under the same light, but it... I've gone, been to big, big churches. I don't know if people organize it at any church I've ever been to. It's like the Westboro Baptist Church. Do we know for certain that every member of the Westboro Baptist Church behaves like they do? Do we know that every member of that, that um, storefront church in the East Valley believes like their pastor believes and hates the president, says the president should die? We don't know that, but it's a pretty good suspicion when you see those kinds of things coming consistently out of that church. Is there something to, and I, I went to a, an anti-terrorism seminar a few months ago, and you can look it up in the records that the majority of mosques, including the big ones here in the state of Arizona, are owned by um, the Muslim Brotherhood. We know that CARE is an arm, is the propaganda arm of the Muslim Brotherhood. It, it's, a, it's a compelling question to ask. I don't know. I don't know if there's another mosque near Avondale or if that's the closest one. If he attended, I don't know. But this is now three people from the state of Arizona that we know of that have been involved with the Islamic State, direct connections with the Islamic State. That's, it's, it's, that's scary to me. Surprising to me. I wouldn't even think that. I would think it would be bigger cities, coastal cities, you know, California and New York, not in the middle of the desert. But there's a big Muslim population. And that would surprise me. I, I don't see it. Yeah, I, I do. Uh, you know what? Uh, if you go to, there is um, a plaza on McDowell, almost to 50th Street, like getting close to Papago, where the subway is in there, there's a plaza in there. And there seems to be a very large Muslim population of businesses and things in there. I go, when I used to go to that subway, I would see it all the time. So I don't know, I, I don't know the answer, but there's a big, there's some big mosques. The, the mosque in Tempe is huge. That new Phoenix mosque is on the one off of I-17 where you can see from the freeway. That is a big facility. So, you know, and, and casting everybody under the same light isn't fair. I'm not trying to do that. But how many churches now have their members doing stuff like, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Uh, I understand what you're saying. If you have a church, if you had a church, a, a Christian church somewhere in town, and uh, a couple of members of that church went out and blew up a, an abortion clinic, and then a year and a half later, they arrested somebody for trying to blow up another abortion clinic that attended the same church. And I don't know that this guy goes to the but same mosque. But this is totally different because there are mosques that have radical leaders. Right. And that's what, you know, there's not a lot of churches that have radical leaders, Christian churches that have radical leaders. So I don't know if you would point to that in your example. Right. I'm just, I, I would just think that if, if it were another, if it weren't, if it were a, a Christian church, questions about the church would be more, would be asked more. That's all. And so I don't know if this guy attended that Phoenix mosque or not, but the guy from Avondale indicted now on charges with the, being involved with the Islamic State. Uh, in a moment, we're going to talk with Rob Hunter about his experiences in Hurricane Katrina. But before we get to my my time to interview and grill uh, Rob Hunter, <laughs> we're going to let him get to us. It's the KFYI Download brought to you by Arizona Christian University. Rob, what do you got, man? Yeah, Mike, the man who murdered the reporter and cameraman decorated his apartment with headshots of himself. There's not much in his apartment. Apparently, they've been in it now. Look at it. There were a lot of headshots of himself on his refrigerator. So I don't know what kind of gives you a glimpse of his psyche a little bit. But he also seems to have planned a getaway. He had a wig. He had sunglasses. He had different driver's license plates. He had pictures of himself? Yeah. Have but you guys ever, when you were single, did you guys ever have pictures of just yourself? I only had a uh, 8 foot by 10 foot mural uh, that was hand painted. No That's, big deal. I mean, and that's no big deal. Nothing else. No. No. So just one. Just yeah, one. just one. It yeah. reminds me of the bad boy scene when, you know, Will Smith's character has pictures of himself getting all these awards and Martin Lawrence is living. He's like, that's, you know, it's my partner, Mike Lowry. I'm Mike Lowry. I say, he's like, I thought you were gay. No, that's my Mike Lowry. I don't think when I was single, I had a picture in my house. I don't think I did either. I probably had it in like a book somewhere or something like that, but no. Yeah. Not on my fridge. No pictures of me on my fridge. Who's the phones for, Mike? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Pictures of myself and my okay. selfies on my phone. Hillary Clinton compares some Republicans to terrorists about women's health. You basically said 
you guys have probably heard. We'd expect that type of attitude out of terrorists, but not the Republicans. You know, Planned Parenthood, stuff like that. Like, really, Hillary? Really? And then this one's interesting, too. Donald Trump has been using the term silent majority. That term, apparently, racist now. Yeah, phrases are racist in America. That <laughs> Everything's racist in mean. America. It's so silly. Like, this is, people on CNN were debating this this morning, and I'm like, really? Washington Post has a big article about the silent majority, that it means white people want to take white culture back. Back from where, first so of I'm, all? I'm going to ask a logical question. That's racist, but Black Lives Matter isn't. No. no. I'm just asking. No. That one brought to you by Arizona Christian University. Coming to the East Valley, three degrees, two locations. Classes one night a week, 602-386-4183. All right, thank you very much, Rob. Your east side, west side traffic. Jason Christopher and Mark Jeffrey, happy Friday. Yeah, and we've got an accident, too. Uh, there you go. That's not too happy, I guess, for that. Uh, but uh, 202 westbound right near the, C the I-10 uh, Santan Freeway. You're going to find a wreck right there on the transition ramp, Mike. You're going to find the right lane partially blocked. So a lot of heavy traffic getting over to the area. Also going to find some slowing and going right now on the 101 northbound around the 60 and the westbound 10 over on the Broadway curve. So the wreck out of Scottsdale being cleared 90th Street of Via Linda. Mark Jeffrey is your west side. Yeah, slowing 10 eastbound, 67th Ave. That collision's off left, Jason, but uh, got some slowing for curiosity through the area. 17 southbound looking pretty good. Hey, if you're heading to Vegas this weekend, uh, keep in mind they're widening the U.S. 93. Uh, basically from State Route 71 over to State Route 89. See a lot of construction equipment later on this morning and through the weekend. It's going to slow your flow. If you see a problem, call the Scottsdale Gold and Silver Traffic Tip Line. 602-374-6300. Next port, 645. March Jeffrey, 550 KFYI. This is Daniel Butterfield. How does 9% return sound with trustees? Or imagine doubling your money in two to three years with real estate. Listen to my show on KFYI Sundays, 10 to noon. Or register for a free workshop at investmentpropertyexperts.com. Just for hey, it's Mike Broomhead for the Lund Mortgage Team. You know how much I trust them? Best rates and fees in the entire industry. Whether you are jumping into the market for the first time, they have first-time homebuyer programs. They're going to help you. Also, if you're getting back in the market, upgrading the home you're in, you need a mortgage. The Lund Mortgage Team is working for you. They're going to make sure that they get you the mortgage that suits your needs best. I've told you before, if you want to refinance and take advantage of the almost 40% reduction in the mortgage insurance premiums, the Lund Mortgage Team, you're not going to find a better company. And during the month of August, as they celebrate Stan's birthday, you honor Stan, you call them and say, Stan T. referred me, you're going to save an additional amount of money on your closing costs. This only happens in the month of August. Take advantage of it right now. Sit down with them, get pre-qualified, and get locked in and mention that Stan T. sent you. It is 623-875-9940, 623-875-9940, or LundMortgage.com. Ow, ow, ow. Do you suffer from multiple foot or leg cramps during the night each week? Or have you been diagnosed with nocturnal foot or leg cramps? Ow, ow, ow. And have these foot or leg cramps been occurring over the last few weeks or even months? If this sounds all too familiar, you could qualify for a new clinical research study with Solarion. In addition to having foot or leg cramps, you should be a male or female 50 years of age or older. If you qualify for this study, you may be compensated for your time and travel. Solarion is a world leader in clinical research, collaborating with top-tier pharmaceutical and biotechnology companies as they develop treatments that will help improve the quality of life for people worldwide. By participating in this clinical research study, you're playing an important role in testing potential new medicines. To learn more, visit helpresearch.com for more information. That's helpresearch.com. Anderson Ford Free Ride is on for a limited time only. Get 0% APR financing for 72 months for qualified buyers. So you're free from interest for six years. That's on every 2015 car, SUV, and truck. So you're free to choose. Plus $1,000 bonus cash direct from Ford on cars and SUVs. So you're free to save. Interest-free financing for six years on every 2015 Ford. Plus $1,000 bonus cash on cars and SUVs. Sanderson Free Ride. Free from interest, free to choose, free to save. Hurry, the Sanderson Free Ride ends soon at Arizona's largest Ford dealership, Sanderson Ford. Sanderson Free Ride. 
not all buyers qualify for Ford Credit Financing. Bonus cash on 2015 cars and SUVs requires Ford Credit Financing. Not available on 2015 Transit, Transit Connect, E-Series, Super Duty, F-150, Raptor, Mustang Specialty Models. Offers expire September 8th. Hey, Phoenix. Sean Hannity here with a question. Have you ever thought about renting out your house? Well, you should. I do. And I recommend my friends at Renters Warehouse. Now, why rent your home? The rental market is booming and rent prices have soared to a record high. Now, the market is so hot that Renters Warehouse is now renting homes in just two weeks on average. Pay no upfront fees. There's no binding contract and you can cancel at any time. They'll advertise your property for free, find you high quality tenants in just weeks and even warranty them. Meaning if they don't work out for any reason, Renters Warehouse will replace them for free. And for a low, flat monthly fee, they're going to manage your property 24-7, meaning no late-night phone calls to fix a leaky toilet. Just go to RentersWarehouse.com right now. Or call 480-626-2226 and get your free rental price analysis today. So what will your home rent for? Forrest, that's not far. What are we going to do? Right? Sure. Are we there yet? Yep. It's a short drive from your neighborhood to your naturehood. Visit discovertheforest.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the U.S. Forest Service. I make learning a privilege, not a chore. And frustration a tool, not an obstacle. I'm a teacher. I make more. Make more. Teach. Visit teach.org. Brought to you by Teach and the Ad Council. Wild animals face a lot of risks, but the unprecedented destruction of their habitat threatens their very existence. The Humane Society Wildlife Land Trust works with private landowners to protect wildlife by preserving natural habitat and establishing permanent sanctuaries. Call 1-800-729-SAFE or visit wildlifelandtrust.org. My savings are gone. Okay, where were they last? Here, right before I spent them on the vacation to Aruba. Weird. Not weird. Not saving now means no money later. For free ways to save, go to feedthepig.org. This message brought to you by the American Institute of CPAs and the Ad Council. Yeah! Kick it! The Sean Hannity Show. Weekday afternoons at 1. Only on News Talk 550 KFYI. The Valley's Talk Station. You, know, you don't learn things about people because you don't know what to ask, I guess. Um, I had no idea that uh, our own Rob Hunter was a Hurricane Katrina survivor. Yeah. So here we are, the 10th anniversary of Hurricane Katrina this week, right? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's the day. And uh, you are a survivor. You actually are in Arizona because you survived Hurricane Katrina. Yeah, basically. And there really was nothing to go back to. I mean, it was it destroyed the city for the most part. Yeah, 80% of the city was underwater after the storm. Now, I was there. I was working at a radio station, and I was living there. I was living there for two years at the time, living my dream, had my own talk show. I was like, this place is awesome, great city, having a lot of fun. And then we get the word it was, you know, Friday night that the, tor the, the storm had turned and it was heading towards New Orleans. So that's when people start like, we got to get out of here. So we decided to stay and cover the storm. But there were a lot of people, because I grew up in the hurricane part of the country mm -hmm. as well, in the Gulf of Mexico, on the Gulf side especially, people stay yeah. because you don't imagine that the storm damage is going to be so severe that you, you're, they never would have expected that or they would have left. How many people stayed? I mean, in your that you knew? I mean, were there a lot of people that said, ah, we'll ride it out? People that I knew, with the exception of the people that I worked with, all left. But I think that I saw the estimates that about 95% of people that lived in the New Orleans area, so, you know, surrounding towns, et cetera, all did leave. But 5% stuck around thinking, nah, I've been here, done this, I'm stick around, ride it out. You know, and that's all fine and good because no one expected the levees to break. You expect the levees to hold up, and that was the big problem. The storm, you know, there was flooding and there was problems and there was, you know, power outages, et cetera. But Really, the, the levee breaking was the big breaking point that cost so many people their lives because that basically it trapped people in the city because you couldn't get in or out because the water was too high. Even amongst the highway, the highway is built, I-10 goes through New Orleans. It's built on a bank, you know, to prevent flooding, but it was so, there was so much water you couldn't get in the city. So what was, give us that scary, that ominous moment, you know, that you were just thinking, oh my gosh. You know, it, it was funny because it was Sunday night. You could see the storm coming in. It hadn't started raining, and the winds were picking up a little bit. And there was huge clouds. 
And, you know, we're thinking, because everybody, we had packed like a couple days worth of clothes, just expecting to camp out a couple days at the radio station and wait till the power come back. Food and... Yeah, we brought all the, like in our freezers, we all bought the food. So we had like kind of a cookout, because we all had this food that was going to go bad. So we're like, all right, let's cook out everything we have. As we're getting ready, we're covering the storm, we're on the air, we're doing our thing. And it wasn't really until, for me, because I had all this adrenaline, so I'm talking about the storm, I'm talking to the National Weather Service, where's the storm, where's the storm? And the sun comes up, and you can start to see where all the water is and how much rain had fallen. And then you see stuff blowing down the street and all these 110-mile-an-hour winds. That's really when it set in. And But even really, we got knocked off the air, you know, because we have a transmitter that transmits the signal. We have these radio towers. Those were all destroyed about 9 o'clock on Sunday morning. And then we were just sitting there, and it was silent. That's really when it set in that this is bad. And then once the storm started to go away, it started to calm down. We had a flat roof on top of our radio station building. All you could see was water. It looked like somebody took a lake and just dumped it everywhere you could see. Now, how high were you guys? Where were you in the building? We were on the second floor of a three-story building. Okay. But we were located, the building was small. It was this tiny little building. It was located behind a Target shopping center. So we came back after a couple of weeks to check on everything. The front of the target was destroyed. So had that target not been there, we would have been hit by debris. The target took the brunt of all the debris from where we were at. So we were kind of lucky to be hidden. But, you know, my wife who was there with me and, and uh, another buddy's wife was there. Swear they felt the building shake and sway in the wind. And I didn't. I was just so pumped up talking about it, like just adrenaline. How high did the water get where you were? Well, we were about, about three feet in certain parts. We were oh, that's lucky. high. It I mean, was high. Yeah. It was high, and it just depended on where the street dipped. In our parking lot, which must have been on a little bit of ridge, we were able to get out because my buddy had an F-150, and it was high enough over the water, and we had rented a, an H-3 because we had a national talk show host coming to right. town for a book signing that weekend. That's the only reason we were able to get out. Otherwise, we would have had to stay there for probably two more days. So um, what did you lose? I luckily, I didn't lose anything except a job, you know, uh, because I was on a third-floor apartment. The roof was still there. The flooding didn't get as high. So I was lucky, and that's it. But I didn't know. I mean, I had two days worth of clothes in a bag, and we just left. So I didn't know what I had for a month. So what did you do, do then? I mean, once the storm was over, once you, I mean, obviously, you didn't go back to that job, or did you go back to that no, job ever? It was gone. They, you know, let us all go. Uh, I, we went to Houston two days after the storm, day and a half after the storm, and we weren't sure quite what to do. But the company paid, put us up in a hotel for a few days. And then they basically bought us a plane ticket to wherever we wanted to go. My wife and I ended up going to Florida with where her parents live, and then her company transferred her to Atlanta. So we lived in Atlanta, and then we drove back down to New Orleans from Atlanta to see if we had anything, and we did. And then we had to figure out what we wanted to do, and I didn't have a job, so we ended up moving. So we had to go back a month later and move all our stuff out, and we had to figure out like what to do like with rent and apartment and all this other stuff. So what was that like? I mean, for anybody here, uh, it, it's so it's such an odd, impossible thing to imagine. You just left because there was nothing to go back to. You had stuff in an apartment or in a but house. I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't have got to it. It's you couldn't, right. Yeah. There was, so once the water had receded enough for you to get, was it an apartment? Yeah. You had enough water receded enough to get back to your apartment complex. Mm -hmm. It was just left the way you left it that day, and you had to figure out how you were going to clean everything out. Now, were the streets still a mess? Was everything still destroyed? Yeah, a lot of you know, a lot of the city itself, because I actually lived in Metairie, which is right outside New Orleans. I probably lived you know, six miles from downtown New Orleans. And New Orleans was completely destroyed. And, uh, you know, going back, and there used to be some restaurants. There's Lake Pontchartrain. Yeah. There used to be some restaurants right on the lake. So I went back, and I drove around. The restaurants were gone. Like, there was no part of the structure that was left because the storm was so bad. Boats that were sitting in the lake, you know, were in the, a street three-quarters of a mile down the road. It was bizarre. Like, my apartment complex, people had started coming back and taking their trash out. So there's just trash in the streets because there was no services yet. So there's just trash bags and trash bags and trash bags everywhere. It was eerie. And I consider myself lucky because I not only did I not lose anything, all I lost was a job. I mean, some people lost their homes and their livelihood. One of my buddies had bought a home and it was completely gutted and the insurance company only paid enough to pay off the loan. So he's, I don't even know if he, I haven't talked to him in a couple of years, but last check, he just had this gutted out home that he because he couldn't and, afford to rebuild. And the stories that we had heard about um, the loss of life and uh, the stories of a, of a family where um, I think it was the, the mother that was swept away or the father that was swept away and said the last thing they said is they were swept away and the storm was take care of the babies and then never to be seen again. Yeah. Those stories are yeah. just 
they got to live with, you know, you and, and being there. That's just got to be. Did you lose anybody? Was there anybody that was killed that you knew? No, thankfully, no. I, but, you know, other people in that situation, a lot of people lost people. And, and you know, there's obviously images that we've all seen of bodies in the water. And it's, it's, it's horrifying. So that's why I consider myself lucky because, yeah, I may have lost a job. But, you know, I picked up and just moved and figured it out where some people didn't have that opportunity. And some people, you know, lost a whole lot more than me and not even losing their lives that had a more difficult task of rebuilding. But, you know, for all of us, I think that survived, there's, there's that sort of that struggle to try to get over it, if you will. You're going to write years. Um, why don't you, have you written any of this down? Have yeah. you guys chronicled yeah. any of this? Yeah. I, w you know, the, I, I, I wish I still had some of the recordings, but they're all on the computer and, the you know, everything got... You know, we didn't actually record. We just like cassette tapes. Yeah. Nobody thought to just put a cassette tape in and just record it because we were just in the moment. I still have some of my original notes that I took where the storm was tracking and what I was talking about on the air. I saved those. You got to write down some of the stuff you reflect on that. I mean, I know it's been 10 years, but that storm is going to be a part of, 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 you know, 21st century American history yeah. for a long, long time. And you should write some of that down. Yeah, because I don't think there was many people that actually stayed. You know, there's probably just a few thousand people that actually stayed that we're actually literally watching it. Wow. All right, Rob, I appreciate it. I appreciate you sharing some of those stories. Yeah, no it's got to be tough for you to talk. I mean, on some level, it's got to be very difficult to... Yeah, all these weird memories that I had forgotten about well, are coming back up. You have such a positive attitude about saying so many people lost so much more yeah. than you and everything else, but it's still a devastating experience and for you to live through that in a city you loved. One, that, that's just, uh, it's just incredible. In one way or the other, it changed my life completely. Yeah. You know, just like out of the blue. Well, that's it. Rob Hunter, that's it. We're, well, we're glad you're here. I'm, been, uh, I'm better off I'm not, now. No, no, I'm no. not really happy about the way you got here, but we're, <laughs> but we're glad you're here. Yeah, it's good all to right. be here. Rob will be here top of the hour with the news, of course, and then we will do uh, Blank the News. We have all that stuff coming up. And uh, in just a moment, uh, we're going to get into a Chicago cop under investigation for saying something terrible. He said uh, Michael Brown deserved it. And they're investigating. We'll talk about it in just a moment. Hey, Arizona, it's Glenn Beck, and I want you to picture yourself smiling and laughing and looking 10 years younger. Or imagine yourself going to your favorite restaurant with friends and eating whatever food you want. You don't have to be embarrassed or ashamed of what your teeth look like any longer because the answer is right there. Dr. Porsche Razi, or as they call him, Dr. Porsche, at Guaranteed Dental Solutions. I've been telling you for a while that Dr. Porsche can undo what time, sugar, bad genes have done to your teeth. So whether you need implants to replace your missing teeth or to lock in a loose denture, call Guaranteed Dental Solutions. And if you want to snooze all the way through it, Dr. Porsche has an advanced technique in sleep dentistry. It's the way I would go, quite honestly. So do what many of my listeners have done. Go to Guaranteed Dental Solutions at 480-435-9047 and tell them I sent you and you'll get 5% off your procedure. Dr. Porsche at Guaranteed Dental Solutions, 480-435-9047. 875-9940, that's 623-875-9940 or LundMortgage.com. Checking that east side, west side traffic. Jason, Christopher, and Mark Jeffrey. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Mike. With the wreck on the Mesa on the Red Mountain Freeway, the 2 west side of Greenfield, not blocking, but it's right in the construction zone, which is slowing down again from Higley. We've also got some slowing kicking in right to the Scottsdale on ramp. Northbound road went busy from right to Guadalupe, and again, trying to get past McKellops. Your 60 westbound also getting heavier right through Gilbert. Santan Freeway westbound busy right now. Val Vista over to Alma School, and then you're going to be stuck behind a wreck right now. It's on the 202 westbound to the westbound 10 transition ramp, and it looks like part of that uh, ramp is currently blocked, so you had to lay back up toward Kyrene. New wreck coming involving a motorcycle, Ray West of Kyrene, or make that Ray West of McQueen, that is. Mark Jeffrey has your west side. Yeah, Jason, issues for you. 10 eastbound, 67th Ave. Now the accident's clear, but the slowing remains. Uh, we checked the 17th southbound pretty good through Metro Center to the Durango Curve. Uh, eastbound 101 getting a little thickish, 7th Ave over to 7th Street. 51 inbound, still problem free for the most part. If you see a problem, call the Scottsdale Gold and Silver Traffic Tip Line, 602 374 6300. Next port, 705, March every 550 KFYI. If you're experiencing hair loss, you need to go to National Hair Centers. Hey, this is Chris. When I decided to do something about my hair loss, I went to National Hair Centers. And so should you, without question. They are the hair loss experts for men and for women. And right now, they're celebrating their 40th anniversary. And let me tell you, you don't stay in the hair restoration business for 40 years without producing awesome results. In fact, National Hair Centers has the largest hair restoration facility in the world, offering both surgical hair transplants and non-surgical hair loss solutions. And right now, as a special for KFYI listeners only, you save 20% on the three most popular and 
effective hair loss solutions. Call right now for a free consultation. It's 602-230-0000. Easy to remember. 602-230-0000. Or visit StopMyHairLoss.com to request a free consultation. That's National Hair Centers and StopMyHairLoss.com. The new 2016 models are on their way to AutoNation, so the 2015s must go. Announcing the AutoNation model year-end sale. Right now at AutoNation Chevy, buy a new Silverado Crew Cab. $11,500 off. Find new roads at AutoNation Chevy. Call 800-SHOP-CHEVY or visit AutoNation.com. MSRP 43705. Excludes tax title license and 399 dock fee. Must finance with GM or Ally Bank on approved above average credit. Expires end of month. Are you an air conditioning technician? Are you a perfectionist? This is Ken Goodrich, the new owner of Gettle, and I want you to come work for me. I recognize and appreciate and reward exceptional craftsmanship. If you're really good, Gettle is where you belong. Now, I'm going to tell you something crazy, but it's true. Every Gettle install is required to take seven specific photos and text them to me after every installation. No matter where I am or what I'm doing, I stop and examine these photos the moment they arrive. I know what I'm looking for, and if you're an exceptional technician, you know it too. And it doesn't frighten you a bit. My guys get a lot of praise from me every day. I want you to be one of them. When the installation is perfect in every detail and the system receives annual maintenance, an air conditioner will perform for twice as many years. Gettle is the home of excellent technicians, perfect installations, detailed maintenance, and a 26-year guarantee. 26 years. Gettle, G-O-E-T-T-L. It'll keep you cool, but it's hard to spell. Whitfield Nursery's tree sale is going on now. Huge 24-inch box trees for $1.99, planted and guaranteed. Choose from thornless mesquite, desert willow, acacia, oak, ash, elms, and more. Save on citrus and fruit trees. Big five to six-year-old with fruit. Cash and carry for $79.95. The Whitfield Nursery tree sale at all three locations. 2647 East Southern, 824 East Glendale, and Cooper, which is Stapley and Guadalupe. Listen to Brian Whitfield Saturdays, 7 until 8 on KFYI. The designers at Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries have done such a great job putting together a comfortable, inviting home for us. This is Beth. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries has just about everything you need for your home. Sofas, tables, dining and bedroom furniture, lamps, kitchen islands, bar stools and bars. And, of course, Lazy Boy still has the recliners they're famous for. And make sure you get to LazyBoy.com. It's a very cool website. They even have a 3D room planner to give you an idea of how the furniture will look in your home. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries live life comfortably. When you gotta go, don't go alone. Get iHeartRadio for your smartphone, and KFYI will go with you. Available free in the iPhone App Store, BlackBerry App World, and Android Market. iHeartRadio. Get that. Fire up your DVR. Time for the weekend TV. Sunday night, Miley Cyrus hosts the 2015 MTV Video Music Awards with performers including Walk the Moon, The Weeknd, and Nick Jonas. They start handing out the Moon Men Sunday at 8, 7 central on MTV. And that's your Weekend TV on iHeartRadio. Hey, it's Chris Merrill. Join me every afternoon for today's biggest events and a little humor on your drive home here on News Talk 550 KFYI. Brass monkey, hey, thanks for being here. Monkey, Happy monkey, Friday. Monkey, Coming up next hour, we get an update uh, right after the news, right after the headlines. We will talk about the town hall meeting yesterday, the Veterans Administration, the VA town hall. Uh, Senator McCain's office uh, was there. They had his staff were there taking a... Uh, veteran stories and getting documentation for people uh, over 3500 veterans this year uh, through that office not just arizona veterans but 3500 veteran cases through his office he's trying to help with and some of the really heartbreaking stories of veterans that were there in attendance there was some bright light there was some some signs of improvement which need to be acknowledged but we'll talk about the update on what happened with the veterans administration with the town hall meeting we held yesterday and uh thanks to um to the city of Phoenix, to uh, the Burton Bar Central Library. Uh, what a fantastic job of rolling out the red carpet and made it really a great event. So we'll get to it just after the, the headlines in the next hour, probably about, uh, about 7.20, 7.15. Um, Chicago cop is under investigation. There is a video of a police officer. A Chicago police officer is under investigation for a video in which he makes a comment about how Michael Brown deserved it. The officer pulled over a car with black men inside, and during a heated confrontation, one of them said, we don't trust y'all. You heard about Mike Brown. He's referring to a, you know, the Ferguson shooting of Michael Brown. 
Um, so the officer in the video responds, Mike Brown deserved it. The man shot back. Mike Brown should have been shot, should have shot his ass in the face. Talking of, oh, you got the audio? Okay, let's hear it. I have, because of uh, some bad words, I just have the end, the tail end of it. Okay, let's hear it. Oh, are you not potted up? All right. And we don't know what y'all gonna do. Y'all might shoot us. What? We don't know what, what y'all gonna do to us. You don't? Hell no. Nah. We don't trust y'all. We don't trust y'all. You heard about Mike Brown, though. No? Stop playing. Mike Brown deserved it. He got what he had to see. Yeah, all right. Why would... Why is he under investigation for saying Mike Brown deserved it? For, well, he was working. So? At the time. So? I... I think that that may be inappropriate. What? Because you want to have a communication with the community. And this was a confrontation. So okay. this was something that he said, I think, out of emotion during a confrontation. He started it out by saying, they said, why are you pulling over black people? And they pulled out the phone and started recording. And he said, only black people live in this neighborhood. We have no choice but to pull over black people. Okay. Which I have no problem with. Right. I think he was trying he was trying to be funny. But Mike Brown has become a political topic. Right. And I think in communicating with the public, he should have just let that comment go and not responded. And see, I now, he's not gonna get fired or suspended or anything like that. It's ridiculous. I, I just these guys are saying we don't trust the police. You heard about Michael Brown. Why would anything that happened to Michael Brown cause anybody to distrust the police? But to say that he deserved it isn't going to help the relationship. But I don't think it was inappropriate. If he just said he was glad the kid was dead, the guy did deserve it. I, I hate the fact that the guy's dead. I wish he'd have had a time in his life to turn his life around. You're different at 40 than you are at 20. But he's dead because of his own actions. And I, anyway, I, I just, you're right. If this cop, not going to get fired, but there's an no, investigation. No, he won't get fired. All right, the VA update. Headlines coming up in the next hour. We're KFYI. Now, a year in rock spotlight, 1973. Led Zeppelin released their fifth album, Houses of the Holy. It goes to number one in the U.S. and the U.K. and yields the top 20 hit, Dire Maker. But I still love you so. their top 10 album, The Captain and Me, with the singles Long Train Running and China Grove. And in June, Joe Walsh and Barnstorm have a top 10 album buoyed by the single Rocky Mountain Way. Also in June of 73, George Harrison scores a number one single, Give Me Love, from the number one album, Living in the Material World. And Chicago's sixth album goes to number one with two top 10 hits, Just You and Me and Feeling Stronger Every Day. July 600,000 Jam Watkins Glen for Summer Jam, the largest rock festival ever held in the U.S. It features the band, the Grateful Dead, and the Allman Brothers. And in August, those same Allman Brothers released their first album after the death of Dwayne Allman and had their only hit single with Ramblin' Man, which goes to number two. Listening to iHeartRadio for more from 1973. Coming up. Now, a year in rock spotlight, 1971. February, four months after her death, Janis Joplin's album Pearl is released and goes to number one. The single Me and Bobby McGee also tops the chart. <laughs> hits number three with the single Ain't No Sunshine from his debut album produced by Booker T. Jones. In March of 71, Carole King releases her first solo album and scores two number one singles, I Feel the Earth Move and It's Too Late. And UK progressive rockers Jethro Tull have a top ten album on both sides of the Atlantic with Aqualung. In April, The Temptations topped the charts with Just My Imagination, their third number one and their 13th top 10 single. Three Dog Night have their second number one single with Joy to the World. And the Rolling Stones album Sticky Fingers is released, including the number one single, Brown Sugar.
listening to iHeartRadio for more from 1971. Coming up. Dear John, uncontrolled high blood pressure is serious, and I can quit whenever I want. But when I quit, you quit. Sincerely, your heart. To get your high blood pressure to a healthy range, visit heart.org slash blood pressure. A message from the American Heart Association and the Ad Council. From the Renters Warehouse Studio, this is News Talk 550 KFYI Phoenix. KYOT HD2 Phoenix. Available everywhere you want to listen on our free iHeartRadio app. Download it now. Open for business. Good morning for the Camp Y Newsroom. I'm Rob Hunter. Two customers at a coffee shop in Moneta, Virginia say they had reservations about going there this morning because they wanted to be respectful, but they decided the community and its business needed its support. The coffee shop today became the first business to reopen at the plaza where two journalists were killed during a live broadcast on Wednesday. The manager of the gift shop says it's very bittersweet. We're glad to be back. Ten years after Hurricane Katrina, people in Florida preparing for Tropical Storm Erica as she hits the Caribbean. The maximum winds are holding at about 50 miles per hour, and we think that Erica will weaken over the next uh, 24 hours as it uh, interacts with land. Dennis Felkin with the National Hurricane Center, though they do expect the storm to increase as it hits the waters headed for Florida, Atlantic Ocean. Former Presidents George W. Bush and Bill Clinton in New Orleans as the city marks the 10th anniversary of Hurricane Katrina. Bush and his wife Laura be there today. Bill Clinton scheduled to speak tomorrow at the city's official commemoration event on Saturday. President Obama was there yesterday to give a speech. Gay marriage flight continues in Kentucky. They have to be giving them out or they're in contempt of court. James Yates and William Smith Jr. were turned away Thursday during their third attempt to get a marriage license in Rowan County. We're here to see if you're giving out marriage licenses now. We're coming to the time where you're not David Moore and his partner David Ermold are also documenting their visits to the courthouse, where County Clerk Kim Davis has twice refused to issue them a same-sex marriage license. Davis continues those refusals. Closed her office yesterday for computer repairs. In local news, poor bookkeeping practices allowed a former employee at Roosevelt Elementary School District to embezzle thousands of dollars from the district, according to state audit. Up until May of 2013, Kelly Kozad was a bookkeeper for the Roosevelt District. From February to May of that year, she allegedly wrote $22,000 worth of checks to herself and a friend of hers, as well as an $8,000 deposit that should have gone to a separate district fund. Then she took a leave of absence and never returned to work. A couple of months after she left, district officials caught the shortages. Kozad was indicted earlier this month on 10 felony counts. The state auditor general's office says the district erred by allowing one person to handle all financial affairs and didn't have a check and balance system to make sure things like that couldn't happen. Oish. Ted Houston, 550 KFYI News. Imagine that. And today marks the final day of training camp for the Arizona Cardinals. Safety Tyron Matthew says he's really had a good time this year. It's been great, um, obviously, to come in healthy um, and to perform the way I've been performing um, and make plays and uh, have my teammates feed off my energy. Team finishes up the practice at the University of Phoenix Stadium in Glendale today. Going to continue gearing up to the 2015 season from their training facility in Tempe. Becomes official. Season is here. Got a preseason game on Sunday night in Oakland, the third preseason game for the Cardinals. The coaching internship from Dr. Jen Walter also comes to a close. She was the first female coach in NFL history. Look at your money now, sponsored by the Green Capital Management. Markets now open, Dow off 30 points. The S&P 500 off a point, NASDAQ off a point. 550 KFY News Time 703. Traffic, weather, and more Mike Broomhead next. Hi, Rick Edelman here. Surely. Hey, this is Mike Broomhead, and I want you to know Keiko Roofing is the best in the Valley. They've been here since 1994. As a matter of fact, they have done tens of thousands of roofs in Arizona, both commercial and residential. All styles of roofs, tile, shake, flat foam, and much more. The storm damage in Arizona can be very severe during the monsoon season. If you're new to Arizona, you're going to find this out. If your roof is not in shape, you better get it in shape or you're going to have severe damage inside your home or inside your business. They are offering all of the people in the valley a free roof inspection. Take advantage of this. If it really is good, in good condition, they will say so. But if you need a new roof, they have financing options in-house that make it not only easy but affordable as well. You can afford to not take advantage of this free roof inspection. Call Keiko and schedule it right now, 602-944-4600. That's 
4600 or go to their website crazyaboutquality.com take advantage of the best it's Keiko roof traffic sponsored by Soto Pelli hormonal therapy Jason Christopher Mark Jeffrey checking the roadways for us Jason B take a look out east what are you seeing out there well, you're gonna find delays right down the Santan freeway Rob 2 to westbound you got them between Gilbert and Alma school and then we had that wreck right near the 10 transition it just got wrapped up so some of that traffic now making its way through over to I-10 once you actually are on the westbound 10 it's gonna be busy trying to get from Warner up through the Broadway curve 60 westbound busy right through Valdez Vista. The 2 2 westbound tied up with the right west of Greenfield and Mesa, the Red Mountain Freeway. It's definitely doing some damage along with all that construction delay. And you're also going to find delays in the 101 north on off and on from Warner all the way toward Indian School. Mark Jeff, we got a closure with some, uh, well, storm damage stuff.
stage of whatever he was doing that day. Yeah, because what happened was, and it was a fluke, when he murdered his co-worker, uh, the cameraman dropped or set the camera down or dropped it. I don't know which it was. But in that, one of the frames was a picture. They got a good look at Vester Flanagan's face. And going back then and asking the people at the television station, do you know who this is? Most of the people in the newsroom said absolutely no doubt about it, 100% that's Vester Flanagan. That's how they were able to get his identity out there fast enough. He had to have known they were after him. He must have been listening to the radio. I'm sure he was. And so... Another heartbreaking story, the cameraman was engaged to one of the producers on the morning show. She was watching it live, and it was her last day. She had taken a job in Charlotte, and this uh, she was going to start this week. And that afternoon, she got her wedding dress delivered. Oh, no. It's just art. They were engaged. They were both going to move to Charlotte. And she got her... I mean, imagine having that morning. And then you get home and your wedding dress that you know, the love of your life, you're set to marry, it's delivered. And now they're dead. Yeah. It is... Oh, my gosh. I know. It's heartbreaking. So this story, obviously, the investigation is going to continue into who this person is. And, and we'll find out. Maybe there are some other letters that he mailed that are going to show up somewhere. You just never know. I, you don't know. And I wonder who those 17 letters were addressed to. We'll find out. They'll, they'll sure. release it'll be, Yeah, it'll be in the news. Uh, today's the final day of Cardinals training camp. They have a preseason game versus the Oakland Raiders Sunday. Then they start their normal regular season practice schedule. Who's their final preseason game against? I believe it's Denver. Okay, so that's who you will see. That's where you will see the starting offense and the starting defense play half the game, probably. No, that's this game. This game. Number three. So oh, yeah. The, then, the, yeah, then the final game, they kind of rest the starters. Correct. And that's where they let the people that are either going to be practice squad players or, uh, you know, fill-ins, they let them get some play time. And yeah, September 3rd is the final preseason game at the Broncos. Uh, that game, you won't see Peyton Manning. You won't see Carson Palmer. You probably won't see Larry Fitzgerald. I mean, there's going to be a lot of people that don't even get any playing time. Game, preseason game number three usually is where starters play into the second half. Uh, Coach Arians has said that's probably not going to be the case. They'll probably play just the first half or less. Because they've looked so good when they've been on the field. Right. They've looked like they're already playing well enough. Why take a chance on injury? And every other player is pulling a hamstring on this team. It's ridiculous how many hamstring injuries they've had so far this preseason. Yeah. They've already lost one player for the year, one starter for the year, so it's smart just to rest rest people for the last six quarters of the who's preseason. Had, who's had the roughest preseason? It's got to be Green Bay, right? Oh, yeah. Jordy Nelson. Also, the Panthers lost uh, uh, Kelvin Benjamin, who is their red zone target. Probably their best of their best receiver of a bunch of no name receivers. Uh -huh. But Jordy Nelson is the biggest name to, to fall. That's tough, man. Lose in a preseason in practice or a game. That's it, it was in that preseason yeah. game. He was just running. Just got rolled. Didn't he get rolled up on? No, he was no. just running. And I think it's 28 ACL tears so far this preseason. And ACL is automatic season. Yeah. Yeah, as good as technology has gotten and surgery has gotten and getting people from injuries back on the field faster, that injury... There's only 32 teams. Yeah. And we've had 28 ACL injuries. Oh, my gosh. That's one a team. Yeah. Horrible story out of Austria. Uh, 71 refugees, most likely fleeing Syria, died of suffocation in the back of a truck. And uh, then they were abandoned, and the police found them on the side of the road in the back of this drip delivery truck. A Subway franchisee has try said they that uh, they tried to warn Subway about Jared Fogle all the way back in 2008. And this unnamed, it was an unnamed executive from Subway. I don't think they've named who that executive is, right? Or they have? Yeah, they did. I saw it in the New York Post story. Okay. I can pull it up real That's quick. That's all right. Um, but he, they, they said, we told this guy what was going on. They wanted nothing to do with it. Didn't want to hear it. Didn't want to know. So if Subway knew in 08 that this guy was trouble, and they had to know his past, right? I mean, everybody knew the story that this guy had a porn rental business yeah, out of his dorm. I mean, there's, there's a difference I'm, all between I'm saying, porn. I'm not, I'm not lumping it all together. I'm saying where there's smoke, there's fire. If the guy you have is your rep, and everybody changes, people are different at 30 than they were at 20, but he was running this porn rental business out of his dorm in college. 
and then you get some franchisee that comes to you and says, this guy is saying things to me that are totally inappropriate, and you guys need to look into him. At what point... And it wasn't even hearsay. Right. It was text messages. Right. And she, uh, the franchisee, offered to show them to Jeff Moody, who is the head of the trust that handled Subway's marketing. Right. And they said, nope. We don't want to know. According to the lawyers of the franchisee, he said he didn't want to hear any more. Right. So Senator John McCain was with me yesterday afternoon at the Burton Bar Central Library in Phoenix, and thank you to them for such a great event. Uh, we will talk about what the VA, what happened at this, what some of the veteran stories were, what I believe is going to happen next. And there was some good news that came out of yesterday and some bright spots in the VA. So we'll talk about those things here in just a moment. Also going to get you to traffic momentarily as well. The new 2016 models are on their way to AutoNation, so the 2015s must go. Announcing the AutoNation model year-end sale. Right now at AutoNation Chevy, buy a new Silverado Crew Cab. $11,500 off. Find new roads at AutoNation Chevy. Call 800-SHOP-CHEVY or visit AutoNation.com. MSRP 43705. Excludes tax title license and 399 doc fee. Must finance with GM or Ally Bank. On approved above average credit. Expires end of month. Good day, Bill. You're listening to this message on a cassette recorder in order to avoid NSA detection. We have identified intrusion into Valley homes by Marxist invaders who live off the fruits of others. They are known as termites and bedbugs. They're eating away at property and people. Your mission, Bill, if you decide to accept it, will be to help the victims of these pests by exterminating them. Good luck. This tape will soon self-destruct. Got bugs? Call Bill's. Bill'sTermiteCO.com house water treatment system and it includes an RO system for just $99. That RO system normally costs you $500. And of course, water softeners eliminate water spots that are softer or easier to use when you're in the shower. It cleans your clothes better. Do yourself a favor. It's aquascienceaz.com or call 602 cost less. That's 602 267 8537. Checking your east side, west side traffic now. It's Jason Christopher and Mark Jeffrey. Happy Friday, guys. Yeah, Mike, we've got a new wreck on a 10P2. Guadalupe East Rural just coming in, along with this one on Ray Westbound, just west of Hamilton or right near Hamilton. It's right between Queen and Arizona Avenue. That one involving a motorcycle. You're going to want to stay left to get on through the area. Also going to find delays in the 10 westbound from Ray up through about 40th Street. 60 westbound, slowing and going off and on from Val Vista over to I 10. Some of the heaviest traffic right now is actually through 10P, trying to pass McClintock. Northbound, would have one heavy and toward Warner and McDowell. And you're still going to find a wreck right now on the two. To west down west of Greenfield in Mesa. Mark Jeffrey has your west side. Hey, we've got some slow motion if you're on uh, Dobbins or trying to get around the closure of Dobbins between 43rd Ave and 35th Avenue. Lots of slow motion there. Uh, that's a down power line situation. I was looking at a closer view of the situation. Yeah, it's going to be a problem for a while. Avoid Dobbins to the west of 35th Ave. Let's go ahead and use baseline as an alternate. Uh, we've also got delays eastbound 10, 75th Avenue to the tunnel. Uh, collision on Indian School to about 59th Avenue in your way. And eastbound 101, riding the brake pedal now, 7th Ave over to the 51. See a problem? Call the Scottsdale Gold and Silver Traffic Tip Line, 602 374 6300. Next report, 731. Mark Jeffrey, 550 KFYI. This report is Chris Merrill here with Josh Levine from J. Levine Auctions and Appraisals. And uh, Josh, you guys have a live auction every Thursday at 11 a.m. there at Scottsdale and Shea at the auction house. What if I'm working? Can yeah. I participate? Oh, we have a lot of people. I, I feel bad for their bosses because they're on the website bidding live. There's a big button in the dead center. You click bid live. You can watch the auction. Some people just watch it for amusement or to get an idea of values. It's a great thing to do. Well, you have so many great items, too, that people are curious. How much is that going to sell for? I actually just had a consigner that just started with us, and she's now hooked watching our auctions every week. She said, I am just riveted every week at what you sell. All right, so you could be there live or you could bid online. Easy to do, too. Jay Levine Auctions and Appraisals, live auctions every Thursday. The southeast corner of Scottsdale and Shea, and of course, previews Wednesday during the day. Call 480-496-2212. 480-496-2212. And find out if maybe you've got something worth consigning. 480-496-2212 or online at jlevines.com. The Sanderson Ford Free Ride is on for a limited time only. Get 0% APR financing for 72 months for qualified buyers. So you're free from interest for six years. That's on every 2015 car, SUV, and truck. So you're free to choose. Plus $1,000 bonus cash direct from Ford on cars and SUVs. So you're free to save. Interest-free financing for six years on every 2015 Ford. Plus $1,000 bonus cash on cars and SUVs. Sanderson Free Ride. 
from interest. Free to choose, free to save. Hurry, the Sanderson free ride ends soon at Arizona's largest Ford dealership, Sanderson Ford. Sanderson free ride. Buyers qualify for Ford Credit Financing. Bonus cash on 2015 cars and SUVs requires Ford Credit Financing. Not available on 2015 Transit, Transit Connect, E-Series, Super Duty, F-150, Raptor, Mustang Specialty Models. Offers expire September 8th. Hey, Arizona, it's Glenn Beck, and I want you to picture yourself smiling and laughing and looking 10 years younger. Or imagine yourself going to your favorite restaurant with friends and eating whatever food you want. You don't have to be embarrassed or ashamed of what your teeth look like any longer because the answer is right there. Dr. Porsche Razi, or as they call him, Dr. Porsche, at Guaranteed Dental Solutions. I've been telling you for a while that Dr. Porsche can undo what time, sugar, bad genes have done to your teeth. So whether you need implants to replace your missing teeth or to lock in a loose denture, call Guaranteed Dental Solutions. And if you want to snooze all the way through it, Dr. Porsche has an advanced technique in sleep dentistry. It's the way I would go, quite honestly. So do what many of my listeners have done. Go to Guaranteed Dental Solutions at 480-435-9047 and tell them I sent you and you'll get 5% off your procedure. Dr. Porsche at Guaranteed Dental Solutions, 480-435-9047. You live online. You need a consultant to help manage your e-relationships, e-business, e-entertainment, e-commerce, e-everything. She's available right here Saturday night at 6. Kim Commando, America's digital goddess. News Talk 550 KFYI. Housing discrimination. Would you recognize it and report it? These folks did. My landlord said rent will be cheaper if we're friends with benefits. Because I'm legally blind, a landlord questioned whether I'd be capable of maintaining an apartment. Our real estate agent said a different neighborhood with people like us might better suit our family. To learn more about housing discrimination, visit hud.gov slash fair housing. Fair housing is your right. Use it. A public service message from HUD in partnership with the National Fair Housing Alliance. Controversy or double negatives. Afternoons at 4, Chris Merrill on News Talk 550 KFYI. All right, thanks for being here. So, yesterday, the Burton Bar Central Library, uh, a big shout out to the people of the city of Phoenix and from the to the people from the library, really um, rolled out the red carpet. Great treatment of, of everybody there. They just did a great job making sure this event went off. We got together, <clears throat> another Veterans Town Hall. Now, we did this about a year and a half ago. April of 2014, we did this. The first time we did the town hall meetings when the scandal of the VA was first exposed. Nobody was talking to the veterans. So we did a town hall meeting, and uh, Senator McCain's office was involved. The media showed up, and there were literally hundreds of veterans the room was filled to capacity and other people that couldn't get in this room were at this first event and it was an unbelievable display i asked the question how many veterans have waited longer than 30 or 60 days for care literally almost every hand went up this is back in april of last year this went on for um i went on from 60 90 120 days and I kept going until I got to a year. And it wasn't until I got to a year before we saw a significant number of hands go down. So yesterday, we did it again. This time, m much fewer hands went up to begin with. And hands were dropping sooner. Great news. The VA is doing a better job. Then we started asking about the choice cards. Now, the choice cards are a simple program. The way they want it, to, well, the way it's been approved is if you are a veteran and you have to meet some certain criteria, you had to have been registered in the VA uh, before a certain date. You had, you had to have been, and the criteria is ridiculous because it excludes a lot of veterans. But um, if you qualified for the choice card, if you live more than 40 miles away from a, cl a VA clinic, you can go to a doctor of your choice. What's dumb about the program, and we're finding out, I mean, I had heard this, but you're hearing from veterans. If, like, you live up in northern Arizona, if you live in, uh, I believe it's in Prescott, or if you live um, near Lake Havasu, um, they have a clinic nearby. But all they do there is, like, imaging and some of the te diagnostic testing. It's not really a full clinic. So even if what you need isn't offered at that VA center, 
because there's a VA center there, you've got to go all the way down to Prescott to the VA hospital to get care because the choice card doesn't work because you're more you're less than 40 miles from a VA facility. It's dumb. There was a combat veteran that was there that said, I don't qualify because I don't meet these two cri this two pieces of criteria. Why should I be excluded? There's no good answer for that. What happened was Bernie Sanders at the time was the head of the Veterans Affairs Committee. And so John McCain and uh, some other senators negotiated with Bernie Sanders a deal for this pilot program called the Choice Card. Well, Bernie Sanders would only go for a limited pilot program, not a full-on, you can go wherever you want program. And these limitations were put in place. So now, with all of these complaints, and the media was terrific, by the way, the media turned out and were listening to stories, and then after it was over, they were interviewing veterans, and hopefully it made the news. AZ Central did a good story about it. And ho I didn't watch the news last night, but I'm hoping that it made the news last night. And the idea is, let's get this back to Washington, D.C. Because there's no way we should stand in front of a veteran and have to explain to him or her, in this case it was him, why you've served, you're now a veteran going through the VA, but you don't meet the criteria to get an insurance card that allows you to go anywhere. It doesn't matter where you live. If you want to go to the VA, because the VA is very good at uh, TBI, traumatic brain injuries, PTSD, um, uh, prosthet prosthesis, the prosthetics, they're very good with all of those things. You want to go to the VA for that care? Go. But if you want to go to a specialist, there was a, a, a guy there named Al who was really, he came up on stage and told his story um, and is, you know, 100% disabled. And uh, he's, um, and this is his story. I can tell because I know he said it to the public, but um, he's like four years sober. So he doesn't do the narcotic drugs for his pain, but he can barely walk. I mean, the guy's in a back brace and it's just rough for the guy to get around. Um, so they started doing acupuncture. And he said the acupuncture worked. He'd fall asleep on the table. It would give him so much relief. Well, you're only allowed to have so many sessions, and then you got to go back for a referral, and then you got to wait, and then you, it's just all of this stop and start and this red tape and the bureaucracy. And um, one woman from Philadelphia stood up, and she said, one thing I can tell you about the VA is that they are long on red tape and short on common sense. And I thought, there is a perfect description. Those were some of the bad stories. One guy got up and said he was diagnosed wrong four times, went to a private physician, stage four liver cancer, waiting for care from the VA. So uh, the good news out of these stories is the media was there to hear them. And now, hopefully, once again, we will have people in front of the Congress calling their members of Congress in the House of Representatives, in the Senate, and saying to them, what are you doing? Let's get one victory. Going into next year's election year, run your campaign slogan saying we fix the VA. Give the veterans the choice card. It's going to help the economies. If you live in northern Arizona where doctors are trying to stay in practice, let them bill the VA directly for your care. You, don't, you should be able to go to a pain management clinic if you want to. You should be able to go to a chiropractor or go to a specialist if you want to. You shouldn't be limited driving to Prescott or driving to Phoenix or driving to Tucson to a VA hospital. It's ridiculous. Yeah, there's ever a group to bend over backward for it's veterans. If we're going to you know, when you buy the most expensive Cadillac insurance plans that there are, you can go to any doctor you want or whatever, um, why wouldn't we give that to veterans? One yeah. of the things, one of the stories, and I know we're running late for the download, here is a typical bureaucratic story. If you want, if you're going to go to a dentist, if you're on, if you have 100% care, you're going to go to a dentist to get a teeth cleaning. And they can't get you in for a teeth cleaning, wherever you're going to go. You've got to go down to Prescott or something to have something done. You get paid, or they will pay um, 75 bucks, or it costs $70 for a teeth cleaning at the dentist there. But if they can't get you in, they send you where it's free in Prescott. But they pay you because you have to travel there $153. So it's costing... Right. Yeah. Why not just pay a dentist in town... That's government for you. ...for a teeth cleaning? Mm -hmm. Keep the money in your town. Exactly. 
Anyway, Don't it's all travel, bureaucratic red tape. That's the stuff that we're hoping to get fixed, in addition to the very nightmarish stories of people not getting the care they deserve. So thank you, everyone. Please keep the pressure on. We're going to stay on this topic. It was really an eye-opening experience. Some good news, still a lot of bad, and we're going to keep on it. So we're going we're gonna to get over to the uh, – we're going to play the game. What's the first word that comes to mind when you think Hillary Clinton? Quinnipiac poll. I've got the top three answers. We'll get yours here in just a moment. But it's time – for the KFYI download brought to you by Arizona Christian University. Rob Hunter. Mike, you've been talking about this one. An Arizona man being held without bail. Charges. He tried to help a college student join ISIS. Got him a ticket. Fly to New York. Try to get into Syria. Yeah, he's from Adamdale. Right down the road. Yeah. That'll be good. Yeah, it's just a nice. Just, yeah, just helping the JV, uh, JV team. Helping the JV team out. Helping somebody. Um, uh, helping somebody get connected with ISIS in Turkey gets him into Syria for training to become a member of the Islamic State. This guy lives in New York, but is connected with a guy that's recruiting in Avondale. Yeah. So this guy's been indicted in New York because that's where the crime was committed, but from Avondale. Well, that's the crazy part about this is, you know, again, you're peeling back and you're looking at this sort of underworld, and, and the part that's so bothersome is how ISIS is able to attract so many Americans just online. And apparently there's a number of Americans that want to help them. You know, the number percentage-wise is such a very small sure number. Is. But th this is one of the things they're lamenting is that you can hide behind the anonymity of a social media, but you can't change that part of it. Right. Instead of worrying about how we're going to fix the Internet and stop the recruiting, let's go wipe out the maniacs. I I'm not a bloodthirsty person, but at what point do we tell the people that are being recruited, you are being recruited to a losing effort? They're being recruited because they believe they can win. Yeah. Are you ready? Or hate America, whatever. Yeah, there's so lots of reasons. But yeah, there, there's no doubt. They're working. Yeah. A, a, a vigil in uh, Virginia Roanoke for a TV news crew is a lot of talk about stopping gun violence. Of course, there's gun control questions and there's mental health questions. So that so debate continuing to on again today weapons. as the plaza there where the shooting happened, where they were, they were murdered, back Maybe open today. So people were pretty reluctant to go, but I think they want to kind of support those businesses too well let's uh let's stop violence not just gun violence let's stop it all if only it was that easy right if only it was that easy that was brought to you by arizona christian university they're coming to the east valley three degrees two locations classes one night a week call 602-386-4183 all right man thank you very much we'll see rob in just a few minutes we're going to talk about this hillary story and then it's blank the news Right now, what three words do you think of when you think of traffic? We'll go to east side, west side traffic. Jason Christopher and Mark Jeffrey. Well, if suck is one of them, that could be your uh, your word of the day this morning here, Mike. We've got another wreck coming in. 60 West under Mill Avenue. It's sitting off right, so you get delays back up toward Val Vista. We had a crash on the Santan Freeway earlier. Uh, leftover delays pretty much right down the 2-2 West, but you're going to find some of those between Val Vista and Almasville, so the normal type stuff right now. North Lawwater 1 getting heavier from Chandler toward Thomas. 2-2 West and Greenfield. Red Mountain Freeway collision there. Sitting off right. More slow and going the usual type stuff from the 101 over Past Scottsdale. A couple of wrecks out and about include Riggs at Val Vista and Guadalupe, East of Rural. Martin Jeffrey, how is that west side? Well, Jason, you mentioned the 202 in the Greenfield issue you have. I have an issue on the 202 westbound at about 32nd Street. Fender Bender was blocking. DPS arrived quickly, got everything over to the right. And some leftover slowing, certainly, but uh, at least the lanes aren't blocked anymore. 101 eastbound, 19th Avenue, collision on the right side of the freeway. Curiosity, part of the reason you're back up through the 17 uh, North Stack areas we 